Hi everybody. Hey, welcome to this little open house this morning. Hey, I just want you to feel welcome. I want you to know that um, I'm excited about this class. I also want you to have a good idea about what this class is about. Um, anyone that has taken a class for me before that has done these wood blocks, people just love them. I just love them. Um, they are just the perfect size for messing around and trying new techniques. Um, I never worry about you know ruining a canvas um, because it's just a piece of wood. <laughs> Isn't that the funniest thing? I just love it. Um, I also think that it is so playful. Um, it brings out our own playfulness um, within us, which is always good. Um, I want you to know that this is a very simple class. This is not a big workshop. Um, I'm going to have uh, tons of sketching we're going to do, and then we're going to just jump into projects. Um, each one of them is going to you know, be its own thing, but also giving you plenty of room for your own creative interpretation or whatever you want to do with it. Um, for me, uh, studying techniques and also studying um, curiosity with the world, which is so much a part of what this is, is really a beautiful foundation for um, building our art, um, letting our art have uh, new directions and uh, new space and introducing us to all different kinds of ways for our art to grow. So as a lot of you have um, asked me, this class is not just for Saturday morning. I will for sure put the class up live um, on each of the Saturdays that I have listed, but I want you to know that it's just open anytime after that. All of these projects will be completely open to you to use whenever class is open for a year and um, we will have you know ample time for um, asking questions and all of that as time goes on but I want you to um, feel free to get your blocks ready um, if you don't know how to get a block ready the best thing I can recommend is just to um, sand your block a bit with some sandpaper just the edges, you don't have to make it completely smooth or, you know, make the edges completely, um, you know, rounded. You don't have to. I don't. I kind of like it to look a little bit rustic-y. Uh, but also then, to gesso. Um, I have seen blocks where they have used stain before, um, some type of walnut or, you know, some type of darker stain. Um, and that might be really a pretty and attractive um, mix to this class as well. So you might want to keep you know a few of your blocks available if you um, don't mind staining them. I probably won't. I have a hard time with um, chemicals like that, but I do love to cover my blocks in book paper. I do love to cover my blocks in just tons of layers of paint, undercoatings and layers, and then I like to you know sand layers off, all that kind of stuff. So um, take some time before class starts to get yourself a sketchbook that you will use. Um, we do a lot of sketching in this class. This is something that I feel like is extremely valuable as an artist. And I will give you a list of supplies for um, class in March for all the things that you'll need for our blocks for that class, those couple classes. And um, really, it's just being having fun and playing in paint and I am excited thank you so much for spending this time with me we're just gonna have a great time um, I just have loved each of your comments about the class and I've so appreciated each of your prayers um, and thank you so much for coming today yay it makes me so happy that you're here so okay hey jump in just and see what the rest of the open house has for you okay all right see you in class